good old Rachel Zegler. Miss Snow White herself is coming out with another movie that is not Snow White, and it's coming out pretty soon. Rachel Zegler is coming out with a movie called The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes. And just like her Snow White film, which I guarantee, guarantee, is going to be a bomb, and if it's not, I'm going to be highly surprised. But this particular movie, The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, is probably going to be a massive, massive flop. Now, a lot of people are predicting that this franchise is going to have by far the worst opening weekend that it's ever had. So let's get into this article, guys, from Bounding Into Comics. But of course, before we do, if you are new here, just consider hitting that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate it and like the video to push us out into the YouTube algorithm. It says the upcoming prequel film, The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds and Snakes, is predicted to have the franchise's worst opening weekend ever. Now, I don't know about you guys, man, but this picture does not make me want to watch this movie whatsoever. I'm, I, I gotta tell you, it's something about Zegler. I don't know what it is. Maybe it's just the prissy attitude. Maybe it's just a completely like stuck up mentality. I don't really know what it is, but Rachel Zegler just has that face that you don't, you just don't want to see. You know what I mean? She's not an ugly girl. You just don't want to see her. You just don't want to be around her. You know that she is just misery walking and she is going to make everything about feminism. No matter what she touches, it's all about feminism. She's one of those women but uh, you know that's that's my own personal gripe with that it says box office pro recently shared their long-range predictions for the rachel zegler film predicting that the film will gross between 35 million and 45 million in its domestic opening weekend the outlet also predicted that the film would only gross between 90 million and 142 million in its entire run at the domestic box office my god that is terrible i don't even know what the budget of this film is and i'm sure bounding into comics is going to get into it and if they don't i'll i'll see if i can look it up but when it comes to the Hunger Games, I, I was really more of a fan of the books. I really didn't care too much about the movies, even with Jennifer Lawrence. I mean, they were good. They were okay, right? Like, they weren't, like, they weren't incredible. They weren't amazing, and they weren't, like, terrible either. They were kind of mid, kind of average, and she played her part pretty good for the most part as, as Everdeen, but still, like, it, it just, it doesn't really, it's not one of my favorite fran franchises. I'm just gonna be real with you, but with this particular movie, you could just tell it looks so much worse than anything that came prior. It literally looks looks like a TV show. That's how bad and poorly done it looks. It says the previous worst opening weekend in the Hunger Games franchise was 2015's The Hunger Games Mockingjay Part 2. The film grossed a total of $102 million in its opening weekend. It went on to earn $281.7 million in its domestic run. The original Hunger Games film had an opening weekend of $152.5 million back in 2012. It went on to gross $408 million at the domestic box office. So obviously the Hunger Games fell off pretty hard losing more than a hundred million dollars by the time it got to its final film compared to its first i would say that's a pretty hard drop then it says the sequel the hunger games catching fire had the biggest opening weekend in the franchise history with a 158 million haul in 2013 it went on to gross a total of 424.6 million at the domestic box office and finally the hunger games mockingjay part one had an opening weekend of 121.8 million it grossed a total of 337.1 million dollars domestically so you guys got to imagine these movies the original movies had a lot more staying power than this prequel film that they're about to come out with right they had a lot more nostalgia for people who read the books there's a lot more people involved in the first few movies than they were in the last few movies and now you're going to have this prequel that nobody's probably ever heard of aside from the most hardcore of hardcore fans i highly doubt that this movie is going to do a lot of money highly highly doubt it now let's see if it gets into the budget because I'm curious because they're talking about budgets right now. It says production budgets for the previous four films have ranged between 80 million for the first film to 160 million for Mockingjay Part 2. Catching Fire had a budget of 130 million and Mockingjay Part 1 had a 125 million dollar budget. If you take the original film's production budget of 80 million, the movie will likely need to gross around 200 million worldwide. Looking at the low end total estimates for the film's domestic box office, it's possible that the film does not break even if you add in global total. The first two Hunger Games films made more domestically than it did internationally. The original film grossed $269.9 million internationally. Catching Fire did $440 million internationally. However, both Mockingjay films did bring in more internationally than domestically. Part 1 did $429.4 million, while Part 2 did $364.8 million. Alright, so The Hunger Games has a very strong presence internationally, much more so than domestically, it seems, or at least at a break-even point where they're both making essentially a 
around the same money, but you guys got to remember, they don't get as much money from international markets than they do domestic. They get more of a cut domestically than they do international. So those those high dollar amounts, they don't get as much money from it. That, that's one thing that people tend to forget. It looks like Rachel Zegler is trying to make out with Eminem over here. I don't even know what the hell is going on there. It says, if you take the trends from both Mockingjay Films, which saw just shy of a 30% increase in an international box office compared to domestic, The Hunger Games, The Ballad of Songbirds, and Snakes will only bring in $207 million globally. You know what I gotta say, guys? Honestly, like the numbers are great and everything. I understand that, that point, and I get it. It doesn't seem like it's going to trend anywhere that's going to be meaningful. But the thing is, a lot of people are forgetting, this is Rachel Zegler, right? Like Rachel Zegler has so much bad press in her name right now because of what she did with Snow White and the Seven Fake Dwarfs that it doesn't seem like she's going to be able to carry a movie solo. Like this is, she's the lead actress in this film and people hate her online. I don't see a lot of people going out there wanting to support anything that Rachel Zegler comes out with. Of course, you're going to have the diehard Hunger Games fans, but aside from them, who do you really have? And you're going to have people that might have went to go see it, but due to what Rachel Zegler has been doing online recently over the past few months, I just highly doubt she's going to have that level of support. So you have a film that a lot of people really don't know about. You have an IP that people have essentially forgotten about unless they're hardcore fans, and then you have an actress that nobody can stand. You couple all that together, and it's probably going to be a recipe for disaster in the box office, and rightfully so. I don't have any faith that this movie is going to do anything worth its salt, and uh, even though I don't know what the budget is, I guarantee you it's way too much compared to what this actually is going to bring in. Hollywood budgets are out of their mind lately, and it really is ridiculous just how much these movies are costing. There's no reason for these movies to cost this much. It's due to their over-reliance on CGI, and it's also due to them trying to pay these ridiculous actresses and actors an insane amount of money, especially Rachel Zegler. I'm sure she's going to get a sweet little cut from this movie, but I highly doubt it's going to be anything worth it. Again, I don't see how this movie is going to do any sort of money that's worth it. And honestly, the IP is just not strong enough. It's just not there, the theatrically anyway. It's not there to support this level of money, in my opinion. So again, we're going to see what happens in the box office regarding this movie. I'm pretty sure Rachel Zegler just killed whatever chance this movie had at any sort of success because people are not going to want to support her and people are itching, itching to boycott the Snow White film. So you only can imagine that since that movie is coming out in 2024, that this is the first shot that angry fans have at Rachel Zegler. And I bet your ass they're going to take that shot. So we're going to see exactly how good this movie does when it comes out, whether it's a success or not. I will be sure to let you guys know. So anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you did enjoy it. And if you did, consider leaving me a subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. Don't forget to like the video, comment, let me know what you thought, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Hypnotic out.